Hey kids, what's up? Jacqueline's looking for another ghost story to do some investigating on. I just found one. So rumor has it that there was a clown and he was 60 and he checked into the Wakula re Resorts, but he had a job at the Cocoa Beach Pier to be a clown and it could have made him really rich. But then they said they didn't need a clown. So he went back to his resort and he hung himself. And now his hotel room is haunted. Whoa. When Jacqueline found the story, I felt like really interested in it and like kind of scared. Holy cow. You know, um, I have a friend that's like a psychic and stuff and I think she could really help us. Let me see if the um, resort has any availability today. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna make a phone call here. Well, I don't believe no ghost. Well, that's why we're gonna go investigate. Okay. Like, I don't know if I believe in ghosts or I do or what. And I thought, let's just, maybe we'll be you know, ghost hunters right now. Hey, is this Wakula? Yes. Um, are, do you have any openings today? You do? They have openings. Um, hey, this is really like kind of a strange request, but we heard that there's a haunted room there. Is there any way we can check into that room? If we found one, then I would be scared because it's like a clown. Oh, you'll make an exception? Oh my God, oh, oh, oh my, oh, thank you so, so much. This is incredible. Okay, we'll be there this afternoon. Okay, see you then. They're going to do it for us. What do you think, Justin? Okay. I guess. and headed out in search of ghosts. It was a short drive from Orlando to Cocoa Beach. I shot videos of everything, the Cocoa Beach Pier, the ocean, and of course, the haunted Wakula Motel. Hello, welcome to Wakula. How are you doing today? Hi, thank you so much. So, we are here today to check into the haunted suite. Um, I see that you're checking into 134B today. Yes, that would be the one, right? The With one. all the stories? The stories. Is it true the clown killed himself? <laughs> uh, we don't discuss anything like that oh, here. Oh, she, she must not be allowed to talk about it. But we'll find out on our own. Then Evelyn, my best friend, that's a great, like, spiritual person. She is very, very in touch. Oh, oh my oh, God, Evelyn, you made thank it. Thank you, you so much for coming. Me. You know, she's the one that I, that is going to help us oh with the God. spirits and stuff. Wait. I feel the energy. Oh my Already? God, it's so, yes. <laughs> oh my God, not that. <laughs> Come on. Well, oh my good. God, I almost had a heart attack. I'm so, so sorry about that. Oh, no, you're fine. We love celebrations here. Um, here are, are the, your keys. Are these our keys? Yes, uh, oh 134B my. right down the hall. Oh my God, yeah. I'm still shaking. Oh my God. I don't know. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, you're very welcome. So, Enjoy your um, stay. Please don't tell anyone what we're doing. Of course not. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun, ghost hunting. Oh my God, I can't <laughs> wait. At the Haunted Wakula Hotel, People sometimes find red balloons in their rooms with no reason or explanation. Some believe it's the clown's ghost that puts the balloons there. So he's definitely not forgotten. I went to the haunted room. I felt like 
emptiness and like it was like it felt normal but scary like the smell was off like clowns and ghosts and like a guy hanging himself is kind of scary so this is it you know i'm almost like kind of like a little disappointed i was expecting mm -hmm. like cobwebs and I don't yeah. know, but it doesn't seem like as creepy as what I thought. It's almost um, kind of nice. <laughs> Hannah made it sound like it was going to be really scary. What, you mean, oh, cousin Hannah? Yeah, she stayed here once. She said she had a really scary experience. When I found out that Hannah had actually stayed at Wakula and had an experience. No way. Yeah. Do you think we should maybe see if she, we can get her to come here or something? Yeah, that's a good idea. Then that really got my mind like going like, wow, maybe this is really true. Where did she say like the spooky room was? Really? She said in the room over here. Um, I'm very spiritual. Been since I was 18 years old. It's cold in here. Oh my God, yeah. it's cold. Mm. Mm. Hannah was saying when she was staying here in the middle of the night, that door slammed closed. God, Ooh, that's pretty scary. Door, like, is it a heavy door? Yes, it is. It takes a lot of movement for it to move. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> oh, sorry. Oh, I didn't. Oh my gosh. I, I, I didn't mean to scare you guys. I was just trying to get some light in here. Yeah. My bad. Whew. We should um, try contacting Hannah to see if she could tell us anything else about this place. Yeah, let's do it. My name is Hannah Henry, and I'm a third year wildlife ecology and conservation student at UF. So I came into the room that I was gonna be staying in for the night, and I this was the side of the bed that I stayed on. And I looked over to my left and I saw this really creepy closet that I knew was just gonna keep me up all night. Super bare and I just didn't like the idea of someone hiding in there or something, you know? So I kept the door open because the, the light in this room was practically non-existent and it was so pitch black in here. But after I turned off the lights and I looked at the door, it just shut on me and it became so silent in a room. It felt different and it was just completely dark to where I couldn't see anything before going to bed. It was honestly really nice because I got to share my perspective on the whole part of this story because it actually started off with me and it's really cool and interesting getting to share it with them because they're going through the same steps I was going through and I'm excited to see where it goes for them. It's a heavy door, like there was no way the air vent or the AC could have just like pushed it in. And, I just like, I couldn't sleep after that and it was really strange. I, I couldn't get it out of my system. Was there anyone else around you? I mean, I was in the room by myself. My grandparents were in the room next to me, but th they were already past asleep. It was like probably one or two in the morning. Like there was no way that they could have done it. Did you experience anything else other than the slamming door? So after that, I, I was too scared to get up to like investigate it. I literally stayed in the bed and I just felt like there was almost like a presence there, like something other than me, like either watching me or just like, like someone is standing in the corner of the room. I couldn't see anything because it was pitch black, but that made it even scarier, you know? Like what if someone was there? Or even just like a spirit, a ghost even. It was, it was so strange, never experienced anything like that. After I stayed the night there, we were talking about coming back here and I actually told her that I didn't want to stay here again. And she was, you know, asking me why, why don't you want to stay in this hotel again? And I, that's how the story came up because it was just so creepy and weird that I was like, honestly, I'd rather stay probably in one of the other buildings. I'm extremely surprised that you guys are going to try doing it, but I mean, let's see what you guys experience here. Okay. I think they're going to be surprised to see that I'm not exaggerating what the story was like. They're going to see that it actually is as creepy as I was telling them. And they're going to realize that, you know, it's not just a tall tale. They're going to experience how dark and how just strange it is in this atmosphere here. It's not just smoke and mirrors, you know. So, do you really believe in all the ghost detectors and all that stuff? 
Yeah, oh my gosh. You know, um, when we use that black light, I actually experienced and saw some things that I wasn't expecting. I'm gonna turn the light out, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm like coming to the room and like looking at like the closet. Oh, look right here. Ooh, what is that? That's And hand. seeing all the stuff on the walls, like the scratches and like the hand marks. I thought it'd be a lot scarier. I don't know, I don't know where that came from, but I, that's definitely something weird. Mm -hmm. And when we went in the closet with the ghost detector with the thing going like this, watch the needle here. It's starting to move a little bit, look. Look, see it's going up. Oh, I mean, come on. And then I did like bringing the app with us because we were able to ask the ghost questions. Should we ask it what kind of entity? Okay, it's transmitting. <gasps> this is weird. <gasps> A ghost. I mean, was it coincidence or was it true? It, it, for me, I mean, it seemed true, right? Um, have you ever like, like saw a ghost? When Victoria passed away, I felt I saw her ghost when we all slept in the living room. Um, the other night, we were all watching a movie in the great room together, our whole family, and it was actually our five-year anniversary of Victoria, our 18-year-old daughter's death. While we were watching the movie, all of a sudden, all the lights came on in the great room. No one was near the switch. With the balcony around at nighttime, I, I saw like a shadow like going around the balcony. Yeah. And you know, I think my eyes in the like it, it was gone. I felt like that was a ghost and and then people have heard in our house, like they thought they heard her uh, voices. So I mean, I think they're there. And maybe that's something, maybe there's a reason we're here. And the reason I brought Evelyn with her sage and and stuff. Yeah. Start staging. Okay, so when I went in there, I put water in the little candle. I took an incense. I took stage. It a little bit calmed things down because it was a very heavy, especially in the closet, it's moving. Look at the string. Oh my God, it is. It's moving. Did you see that? Wow. I feel it in the closet. You feel it too, right? Mm -hmm. Like I felt the energy, like, I think he wants to let it, like play with us and let us know that he's there. The history of this place, maybe there were people buried under here, or maybe it was a graveyard many years ago, I don't know. There's like so many of them, maybe mm -hmm. not only one. So he's being greedy and he doesn't want the other ones to jump in. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's trying to protect us too, you know? So what does the cleansing like do? Okay, it's gonna help us by protecting us from all other evil spirits. Cause there's a good and a bad, you know, so. If you open a door to something you're not supposed to open it to, you have to know what you're getting yourself into. So you have to protect yourself and those around you. It'll, it'll let us be known that we can play, you know, and, but it's a protector too, to get the bad ones away from us. Are you sure you still want to stay in here, Jacqueline? Definitely. Wow, what a day. Hey, you can put that away. You girls, I'm so proud of you. You know, wasn't this like a really amazing experience? I mean, 
Normally, they don't allow anyone to stay in this room. Mm -hmm. But we got lucky, and here we are. And I think it was quite amazing. I mean, I'm proud of my little goat, ghost uh, hunters, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to stay. I'm going to go to bed right next in the room here. If you need anything, you know where I am. If you hear anything, let me know. And uh, otherwise, sleep good. We had Evelyn bless this room today. And don't let <laughs> the <bedrooms> bite. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so good night. I love you, girls. Good night. Um, love you. Right. I love you more. Love you most. Did you hear that? Look. Do you see that? It's like a handprint. I think the ghost is here. Should we open it? I'm not opening it. You open I'm it. I'm not. You. Together. OK, ready? <laughs> At first, I thought that was really, really scary of him because I was I didn't know what to expect. Um, I didn't know it was Justin at first because he was wearing a mask. Because I was a little scared about it, but like, it was good. I felt happy to scare them. What happened? I told you there was no ghost. Oh gosh, Justin, what are you doing in here? You know, this isn't right. This, this is a serious matter that we had going on today. You're being a bad boy. Say you're sorry. I'm sorry. I it's you. okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to keep him busy. I'm going to maybe, you want me to make some popcorn for you? Let's take, I'm going to take him back to his room. Sorry. <laughs> so I hope he didn't start any too much. Cause I mean, okay, so go back to bed and okay. sweet dreams. We should keep this light on. Definitely. Good Good morning. Good, Good morning. Good morning. How are you on this bright, so sunshiny day? Huh? Oh, it feels great. So glad yeah. the night in the oh my room was goodness. finally over. Was this amazing or what? Yes, it, it was. was. So and both of them. What happened you know, last night after we shut the door? Yeah, and I heard like scratches on the walls and knocking on the like ceiling. He showed himself to like us more than Hannah. Really? Yeah, and I thought a ghost pulled my leg, but no. I don't know if it was a dream or not. I didn't realize that I have fallen asleep. Um, in my head, it's like real, but not real. And I just had like a thought of a scary ghost like coming to me. And I guess like I felt my foot being pulled. So like, I don't know. Really? Yeah. What'd it feel like? I felt like someone grabbed my leg and just yanked it. Did you see anything? Yeah, I feel it a lot sometimes that I just try, you know, to calm down. But I feel the energy, especially in that room. And then this character over here. The clown boy. Not to mention names. Finding out it was like really Justin made it like more relieving and calming because it wasn't a scary dead ghost clown. 
What were you doing, like scaring the girls last night? I mean, that wasn't nice. Well, it was for me because I want to scare them really loud. That's so they can get frightened so much. Because like I kept waking up and I couldn't really get a good night's sleep. I didn't know what to think, and and it was Justin. You almost gave me a heart attack, okay? I'm sorry, and because, if, well, I don't believe no ghosts. If they're real, like, I can see my own eyes, but they're not real. Duh, I mean, he's just being a kid, and that's what he wants to do. Well, you know, I'm just thinking, you know, um, if we all had a really good time um, looking, you know, ghost hunting, what if we do it again? Sometime? Yeah, like, at your house. At our house? Yeah, like, we can do, like, scary stories, and, and, and we... Doing another ghost, like finding in my house or like on trips, I think it will be scarier than here. If the group does decide to do that, I will do it. I don't think the girls will want to sleep in a haunted room ever again. They are, they are believers in this and they experienced some of the noises and the tugging that we can't explain. Well, if anything, we'll bring Justin on the on the trip because I have a feeling if if we find like anything scary, he could certainly scare the entity away. So mm -hmm. that'll be our protection. Yeah, but let's eat. Oh, Justin's hungry. All right, let's eat. Let's eat. <laughs>